Green and black letters on a white background. Zero Project Awardee 2021. Austria. Marina Apotheke. Pharmacy specialized in employment and service for deaf people. What is training and counseling for deaf people about? First interview, Karin Simonic, owner, Marina Boutique. It's a wonderful situation because the deaf pharmacist um, talks to deaf people and to hearing people uh, with his sign language interpreter. And we are able to start a lot of activities for people who want the access to this health system in sign language. The pharmacy from the outside. How did this solution change your life? Srecho Dolanz, pharmacist, Marina Apotheke. This project is very important, especially for the health sector, where barrier-free information and support through sign language interpreters is not always available. So where do deaf people then receive their information? That is why I'm so glad that I'm able to work on developing and improving the quality of health care for deaf and hearing people. Karin Simonic. Mr. Srejo Dolans is unique and his job is unique. There was no one in his situation until now working with, in public with customers, hearing and deaf customers and he recognize the need for pharmaceutical terms. He makes videos in sign language just to keep people informed because don't forget there are deaf families who take aspirin against fungus their whole lives because no one tells them that it doesn't, doesn't work and it's the wrong medication. How does training and counseling for deaf people work? I simply didn't think about financing something and suddenly after the third deaf employee was in the pharmacy I recognized what a big need there was. They hardly go to pharmacies or to doctors only if they really need them and this was a perfect way to develop something for deaf people, the entrance into the health system and this is I think this is the most important thing we could do. What is next for training and counseling for deaf people? People using sign language in the pharmacy. Austrian sign language is part of the Austrian constitution and even the government sometimes forgets about this fact. And so it's really hard for deaf people to get important information. And especially now, during the pandemic, it's very important that we made our films and little little clips just to inform and keep deaf people informed. Zero Project for a world without barriers.